Howdy folks, today I'm going to be making some U-bolts out of this here all thread by using fire and sparks. Yeah, let's get to it! Woo. Oh man, that just broke. Test number one is a fail. Fail number one. Huh. Well... Get her done. Alright, now folks, here's the deal. I'm trying to mount these here. 350 pound heavy duty caster wheels. Uh, they not only lock the wheel, but they lock the turning to, to the bottom of these. But, I could not find the correct size of U-bolts for this application in the hardware store. So, uh, as you can see, the bolt holes line up and you can see on both sides of it perfectly. Uh, but the U-bolts that I found were actually a U-shape. Yeah, actually U-shape, they weren't like squared off the top. And uh, so it wasn't gonna fit on this square bar. So, I bought some all thread, six foot of it so far. And I'm going to heat it up with this in my vise right here. Stick it in the vise, heat it up, bend it over, and then I'm going to use my cutting wheel. Yeah, get that sucker chopped off. So that way I'll have some nice clean U-bolts for this. Just long enough uh, that it doesn't stick out and will hinder the caster wheels. So I don't have much room there. So, I'm going to do some measuring and some heating and some cutting. But i got to find some bolts or nuts that I can put on the all thread. Because I don't have any, uh, I don't have a type of die set for this type of all thread. So I'm just going to put some nuts on. When I cut them off, just unscrew them, be good to go. Alright, here we go. I threaded the end of the lock nut on there. And it, I mean, there's not even like one little thread on this side. And it barely, barely clear. So it's got enough room, right? So take my little trusty Sharpie and mark my little spot here. Uh, slightly below this little black mark and then bend it over and then we will measure it again to go into here. Let's give it a shot. Test number one. Let's see here. And bam. Make sure it's uh, straight up and down. Tighten her down. All right, she's good. Got the black mark just slightly above. Let's go ahead and get some fire on it. All right, I got some gloves and some safety glasses. Fire it up now.
Oh man, that just broke. All right, well, test number one is a fail. Fail number one. That did not work out well. Hmm. Well, we, we can do better this time. Hmm. Huh. Well, I don't know if I can just bend it without heating it. Why not? Actually, work. Okay, we ain't gonna heat it. We're just gonna bend it. All right, cool. So let's chop this bad boy off. Let's make some sparks. Glasses. <laughs> make sure fail number two make sure you got your cutting disc on and not your grinding wheel cut off wheel Ooh, look at that, it just threaded right on. That's awesome. All right. Mm. Ooh, Ben number one success. 90 degrees that needs to bend right here if I want it to go right in the middle so what if I mark it in the middle mark it in the middle of this so that's going to be the middle of the, yeah, hang on a second. That's the middle of the bend, so I need to grab, clamp it on the back side, on the, this side. You can see the mark there, so I need to clamp it on this side, because I need the middle of the bend right there, so. Give it a shot. Mm. All right. Yeah. That looks like a bend. Nearly ninety. I mean, it's pretty straight, so let's make it on this little caster. Larger than I need it. So I need the bend to start sooner. See? It's not quite, it's not quite lining up. So I if I can just clamp it. I mean, what do we got to lose? A little bit of off thread? No problem. <laughs> Look at that. Boom. 
I just fixed it. It looks good. It looks great. Um, let's get it cut off and then uh, we'll uh, attach it up and see if she works. Not bad for the first one. So, oops. Threads on pretty well right there. And just to make sure, let's thread this one on. Hey, it spins right on. Perfect. Okay, now, moment of truth. The first test fit. Ah, here we go. Man, that's going to work. That's going to work. Got your little brand new U-bolt. U-bolt. Usain Bolt. Bam. And. Bam. A little. Slightly. Lightly rough thread there. That's all right. have success our first u-bolt has been fabricated I'm gonna need to trim off some of this extra length here but uh hey it's working you know the weights going here this is only to keep it from going side to side so I mean it's pretty flush here it's tied up against the sides I mean as much as it can be and uh, it looks like we're good to go so uh, <sighs> this is great 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 and it works it rolls and when it locks it doesn't uh, yeah boom Looking good. Success! Let's give her a little chop. Give it a little ch -ch -ch chop. Get her done. Look at that. Got some U bolts. Add to uh, grind down this uh, thread here to make it flat on this side, uh, both sides of this, this side, so that way it would fit through this narrow passageway. Of course, I didn't bend it the best, but whatever. It's my first try. So don't judge me or judge me, whatever. I want to be careful of. Uh, Let's see here, you can see how that's kind of melted right there. So when I was chopping off one of those, uh, oh, you can see it right there, really good. You see how I was chopping that off with the uh, cutting wheel? It's, uh, these things have plastic inside of them to keep them from backing out. So obviously uh, you want to use, do not want to use these if you want to keep them on. So uh, they're really, really, really cheap. I think it's like $3 for this here uh nylon insert lock nuts uh and there's the size of the all thread 516-8 i guess so that's the whatever anyway uh everything's good Working wonderful.
Can't wait to get rolling. Rolling. All right. Give me a thumbs up. Comment, like, subscribe. Get her done.